the Central right, Committee. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a hustle. We're like half an hour late. So for 2014, what I'd like to see is we've figured out that there's a correlation between sign-up rates and national views. And it's significant. You can see the spikes there. The spikes were Cynthia Chase being like, oh, you guys are the greatest threat to liberty ever. And King Robin Hooding and the Bearcats. So those are kind of those spikes that go out there. And those are sign-up rates. So when I did my Ignite talk, I talked about we should be doing more interesting artist activism, but things that could get into stories and into the news. There's a way to do this, and it's Carrie DeSantis, who I don't believe is here. But she's our PR lady. And you know, if we can pay her three to five thousand dollars a month to actually get us three to five national news stories a month, we can accelerate the rate and trigger the move earlier. I don't want to wait till I'm <laughs> So, there is a direct correlation between these things, and there is a way to do it, so let's do it. Of course, in 2014, as we have done, I think, with this event, we are trying to elevate the brand of the Free State Project. We've had a lot of in, uh, national news media crews here, Discovery was here, Fox was here, the New Yorker is here, he, are you here, Bill? It's not this is a great story. So I was, at the, <laughs> I was at the pool last night, right? And this is awesome. Oh, shit, it is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so he was at the pool last night, and he comes up the stairs from the basement, and he comes outside and he goes, Stop! You guys are shifting my paradigm! <laughs> behind bringing someone out like Naomi. I think if we just operate in an echo chamber, we're not going to get there. I think if we try to convince other people who have questions. Anyone who is questioning what goes on in this country is a target market for us. There are people who are going, I know something's wrong, I don't know what the solution is, and those of us who have studied this more are like, we're pretty sure this is the solution. We might be wrong, but the point is, Let's give them information. So, how can you help? Money. Money. All right. So I would love to raise ten to twenty thousand dollars tonight. Okay. I don't think that's absurd because that's only like twenty bitcoin. <laughs> okay. I didn't check the rate. <laughs> Oh, the volatility of Bitcoin. But all right, 40 Bitcoin, whatever. You know, let's throw them around. Let's <laughs> hey, let's uh, remember that chart where I'm like, we're hitting so much above our weight. Like, we're actually doing this. That's the exciting part. It's really, really, really happening. <laughs> so I have sheets that are going to go around the room. Uh, you won't be judged if you don't give me money, but I'm not having you. <laughs> no, seriously, if you can give, please give. If you could be a patron, a tri Trigger the Move patron, of course, that's what we want. If you would like to give it a lower level, give it a lower level, come talk to me, go online, figure it out. But it would be great to like give ourselves just a little bit of a buffer so that it can be a knock-on effect. I, I kind of know right now what we need to do next, but, you know, shit's not free. So if you can't give money, what can you do? You can become an armchair, armchair activist for us. If you're on Facebook or Twitter or you write letters to the editor, one thing we have found that's been really effective is that people who publicize when they leave where they leave because they say to their community, hey, I was a part of this community and I'm leaving because things are not right anymore. And I'm going somewhere where things are better. Call your local radio shows. Call NPR all the time. <laughs> just do it. I mean, if I could raise a million dollars, I would just advertise on NPR. Can you imagine if it's like, it's a just verdant world. And we're like, no, it's a just world. It's a real
real thing, right? If you haven't signed the pledge, sign the pledge. In fact, sign the back of someone's t-shirt. If you have signed the pledge, find one other person to sign the pledge because then I don't have to work so hard. And every single person in this room took the personal responsibility to commit to finding one other person. We would have a 50,000 person movement. So go out and do it. It's not up to one person. It's up to all of us. That's what a movement is. This is your This is your movement. This is what you make it. And that's the thing for everyone in this room to feel empowered to say, I am the person who can make a difference. Every person in this room is the person who can go and can make a difference, and we are making a difference. I want to kind of end this. Sorry, I feel like all muddled up. <laughs> Oh yeah, I want to end this with, with two things. One is, as a, I even hate the word leader, but let's say like as a role model for what I believe should be a voluntary society where people decide who they want to associate with, who they want to give money to, who they want to be friends with, right? That's what we're building. Shared values, shared principles. There's a documentary, so I struggle with how do you manage something like this. I come from a corporate background, and it's really tough to be like, do I dictate you do this? Do I let you do this? How are we doing on branding? And I have a very laissez-faire approach, because I actually think that is the market, right? If someone comes up with the cutest porcupine that everyone loves, and everyone uses it, it's not up to me to say it has to be this way. It's up to the market to say, Wow, that's a cute porcupine, and we all love it, and we're going to use this different one. And I embrace that and encourage it, because I think it's a new way to look at things. It's kind of like open source branding. So they're doing a documentary called The 101 Reasons. And uh, it's Vince, who was on our team, and Bo, who's around. And they're doing it through an Indiegogo. So I think something like Indiegogo and Kickstarter and those things are actually tools that will start to set organizations free. Right? I'm applying for 501c3, so I'm kind of like stuck in the organizational world. But when you think about it, we need to, as a, as a species, like start to unleash these tools, these internet tools. Like I don't want to be the one deciding this is a great project, that's a great project, this is better. I want the market to decide. And that's what Indiegogo and Kickstarter are going to do. So if you choose not to give the Free State Project money to me, I would encourage you to consider supporting projects of other people that will help the Free State Project. And I actually more so would encourage